Hello, Team Transforming Lives. It's Bobby, and I am here on Friday to do a live for you. And my daughter, I was asking my kids, I said, on Tuesdays, I want to do lives, and we're going to call them um, Tidbit, Tuesday Tidbits. And I was thinking about doing lives on Friday, and my daughter said, I think you should call them Freedom Friday. So that might be freedom from toxins, freedom from, oh, I all kinds of stuff. Um, today we're actually going to be doing a topic called From Shy to Empowered. And uh, this is kind of a, a very, very mini and shortened version of a topic that I covered last week at the rally. So hey, Leah. Uh, I'm just going to start by telling you a little bit of a story about me. Not many people know this. Uh, I bet even my close family members don't know this. But um, so a few years ago, I was teaching a goal setting class in Texas with our BLAST group. And uh, afterwards, I just had, I was just sky high. You guys know that feeling where you're just sky high. And I remember getting home afterwards and I just kept thinking about it. And all of a sudden I had a flashback. And I remembered myself sitting in an auditorium when I was probably somewhere between sixth, seventh or eighth grade. And I remember that we had a motivational speaker come to our school and I was sitting down and all of a sudden it was almost like a flash of lightning <laughs> hit me and it was like I kind of jumped up in my seat and I was like, that's what I want to do. I want to, you know, motivate people and empower them and uh, I, got, I got really excited and all of a sudden it hit me, oh, but wait, then I would have to public speak and that's not going to happen. Um, so I shut this dream out of my head and forgot about it for many, many, many years. Hey, Stacy. Hey, Heather. Hey, Lindsay. Good to have you guys on. So I forgot about this dream for many, many years. And so here I am doing Young Living. Many of you know my, my Young Living story. I don't have time to get into it here. Um, I want to keep this class short. But basically what happened with me is I hit rock bottom in terms of health. And I found answers, answers to my prayer. And I became so passionate about it that I felt rude not sharing something that changed my life. So that leads me into the three keys to switching from being shy to empowered. And obviously, I'm on the Team Transforming Lives page. So many of my stories are going to be um, Young Living related. But really, this applies to anything, you guys. If you're passionate about faith or you're passionate about some other message that, that God gave you, whatever it is, um, these principles will apply. So the first thing that I've learned for conquering your fear, conquering shyness, and becoming empowered is to love people enough to be willing to make a fool for your fool of yourself for them. Love people more than your fear of embarrassment. Love people more than your fear of rejection. So what does that mean? I'll just give you a, one example. Public speaking. Uh, that was one of my biggest, biggest fears. And um, in college, in grad school, I remember if I had to speak in front of three people, I literally was on the verge of throwing up. But I started speaking years later with Young Living because I couldn't not share. Yes, I still had the fear of public speaking. Yes, I still had the fear of rejection. It's still there today. But the truth is, is what I discovered is, is even if I make a radical fool of myself, whether it's on the stage or whether it's just asking someone, hey, do you want to try a product? If I make a fool of myself, it doesn't matter because all I can, all I can say then is, I was willing to make a fool for yourself because you needed to hear this message or you needed to hear this product, whatever it is. Um, so the first step of being shy to empowered is loving people enough to step out of your comfort zone and to let them hear the message that God's given you. So, uh, And honestly, that could be something verbal or maybe it's a book or maybe it's something totally different. But um, you get the picture. Love people enough to step out of your comfort zone for them. Number two is have a great big why. Because especially in network marketing, uh, we are out of our comfort zone every single day. It's, it's not always easy to invite people to classes. 
it's not always easy to see someone in need and say, hey, I have something that might help you. Um, but having a great big why will help you. So, so for me, honestly, a lot of times that why is realizing myself that I don't know that person's story. If I see somebody in the grocery store, I don't know, you know, maybe they have a sick family member at home, a spouse that can't work. And it kills me to think that they might be praying for an answer that, that I have. Um, maybe that why is being able to stay home with your kids. Maybe it's to travel. Take yourself back to when you were 10 years old. What did you dream of? Um, did you dream of doing missions? Did you dream of being an athlete? Our dreams were a lot bigger back then. And so... One of our whys now is we would like to have more time freedom and financial freedom to travel the world and do more mission work. We'd like to build a school and we'd like to make a difference in a lot more people's lives. So have a why. Because for most people, public speaking is scary. Honest, in network marketing, you don't have to public speak, but that's just an example I'm using. Um, but I believe that most of you, if your child was kidnapped, would have no problem getting up in front of people and saying, hey, help me find this child. And most of you, I'm guessing, if there were two buildings and you were in one building and the one beside you um, was a tall skyscraper and there was a tightrope across it, I'm guessing most of you, even if I offered you a million dollars, wouldn't accept it. But what if your child was in that other building and it was on fire? Would you cross the tightrope? So for most of us, the answer is yes. And so finding that why that will challenge you to step out of your comfort zone is going to empower you to do the things that are hard and to do the things um, that are just a little bit of a challenge. So sorry, my, my phone is beeping at me. Um, and then number three, the third thing is from going from shy to empowered is being transparent. This is one of the best lessons I have ever learned in my life. It applies not only to network marketing, but literally it has revolutionized every area of my life. It's being transparent, like completely transparent. And I'm going to give you an example. So I, um, as many of you know, I started sharing. I taught classes for five years without ever really, um, a couple times, I did, but for the most part, I didn't share that I was a distributor, and I didn't really tell them how to purchase the products unless they asked me later. Well, through the years, um, about about five years ago, I had a lady come up to me, Skyla Mann, many of you know her, some don't, and she said, Bobby, you're doing a great job teaching these classes, but do you realize that there's... Um, marriages struggling because of lack of finances. There are people wanting single parents that want to be home with their kids and they can't. Um, people that want these products that think they can't afford them and they're praying for answers. Bobby, you have answers. How rude. And it was when I started thinking about that and contemplating that that I realized she was right and that I had to get out there and I had to not only share the product, I could not share that because it'd be rude not to share something that changed my life. But it was also rude of me not to share something that could change their life from a, from a financial freedom standpoint. So we started having these classes. We, had, um, we were having business classes for the first time. I didn't ever want to go to a business class, and I sure didn't want to teach one. And um, I remember we had these business classes and I was going to invite a bunch of people and I called a couple people and I was so nervous and my voice was shaking so bad and then I would talk faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. Maybe I'm doing that right now. Um, have you been there where you're so nervous and you talk faster and faster and faster to try to hide it? That's where I was. And I remember getting off the phone and I lit I was nauseous. It was, it was not a not a pretty thing. And I called Sonia Swan, who is um, one of my mentors and a member of our Young Living Upline. She's a diamond. And I said, Sonia, um, I, I can't do this. I need help. Like, I don't know what to do. Um, and I shared the story of my voice shaking. And she said, Bobby, why are you calling these people? 
And I said, um, I'm calling these people because many of them are in jobs that they don't like. Many of them want to be home with their kids and can't. Uh, many of them are struggling financially and they need to hear this message. And Sonia said, Bobby, be transparent. Use your weakness as your strength. Instead of trying to talk faster and to hide that shaking, you need to call them and say, I know my voice is shaking. I'm really nervous to call you, but I had to share this message with you. It's that important. And that made the world of difference. But in life in general, if we are transparent and instead of trying to hide our weaknesses, we use that weakness as our strength. And when people see that we're willing to step out of our comfort zone, even though it's not easy, but we're willing to do it for them because we love them and we love them more than our fear of rejection, failure, uh, that's when we can really impact the world and to change lives. So that's my story on going from shy to empowered. Do I still have a shy streak? Absolutely. Uh, however, um, it's great to know that God took me and took my passion for people um, to the point where now I am doing what he called me to do way back when, when I was in junior high. And um, your story will look a little different. It might be something totally unrelated, but these principles will work. Love people enough to make a fool of yourself for them. Have a great big why and be transparent and leave the rest up to God. And um, I believe that you will make a difference, not only in your life, but in the lives of the people around you. So that's my challenge for you, something to think about. Um, and yeah, so think about that this weekend. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will talk back I'll see you soon. Um, I, I've really enjoyed you guys' testimonies uh, of your new products. Uh, I'd love to see more of them. So if you haven't done them, um, put them out there. And again, they don't have to be brand new products, but uh, products that are new to you, or maybe you're just using it in a different way. So um, thank you so much. I have loved what's going on on this page in July. I've learned so much from you guys. So thank you, and have a great weekend.